love 2020 cricket. The excitement, the fast-paced action, crowds flock through the gates, and players, well, they just love playing it. But what goes into the preparation of a 2020 game? Well, we caught up with DC Bush Ranger assistant coach Simon Helmet to find out what the coaches do to make sure they get 2020 cricket right. Bush Ranger's success, I mean, unbelievable record for the five finals. What do you put that down to? I mean, it seems like a very hit and miss sort of game. What do you put the success down to? I think we've had a highly skilled uh, playing group for, for a number of years and that's why we've probably been good across all forms of the competition. But uh, to have you know, the pace of Dirk Nannis and Shane Harwood, the skills of Brad Hodge, David Hussey, Cameron White clearing the pickets, we've had a really good balance. It's been a time for, for Victorian cricket which has been exciting but one that we're going to have to get back and work hard to stay at the top. Do you love 2020? I absolutely love 2020. It's an exciting uh, you know, competition to be involved in. Heaps of people coming to watch. There's lots of exposure. That it's a different type of cricket. It's a different challenge. What percentage do you focus on your roles compared to the opposition that you're playing? 70-30. 30% of the opposition, 70% on us. Usually you'll do all your preparation before the series because it's condensed time. We know we're playing 2020 you know, games in a row where the Shield and the Ryobi Cups, you know, we, we're playing one or, one or the other. Get your opposition analysis done as early as possible so then you can concentrate on the most important thing and that's you. Spinners are having a greater impact in 2020 cricket, they're even opening the innings now. How has that sort of evolved from where they used to be and even overlooked for a spot? Now they're a crucial part of the lineup. Well, I think coaches and captains were seeing that the medium paces and fast bowls were getting easily hit over, over the ring in the, in the first six overs, whereas uh, the slower bowl, the medium pace were in fact a spinner. The, uh, the batsmen have done a lot more work to try and you know, use the pace of the ball or, or try and get some, get some room. And often the spin will be used not only just to, to try and curb the runs, but they're using as an attacking option, getting wickets. And we know in all forms of the game, you get wickets early, it makes it hard to, uh, to post a big score. Speaking of the first six overs, very important, that's the power play fielders are in. How hard can you go during those six overs? Has that evolved over the course of 2020? Oh, again, your makeup's different. If you've got a good partnership at the top, um, then you'll find that they can play off each other and one can get away one game and one the other. Um, you have a guy like Chris Gale opening up. <laughs> Often he'll, he'll, be, he'll be clearing the pickets early. Um, same as a, as a player like a Dave Warner. We've been very fortunate having, having players like Hodge and Finch that one of them can get away and the other one could be a bit more of the anchor. So I think having versatility at the top's really, really important. Do you think that performances in 2020 will translate to them getting opportunities in other forms of the game as well? Yeah, I think it can. Usually it's gone the other way, where you've had to perform well on the longer versions and then and then upskill yourself to get in the T20 side. But some players are coming through and they're really aggressive players and good limited overs players. But hopefully some of their skills can, can get in and, uh, and be well performed in the, uh, in the longer versions. Where do we see 2020 going in the future? Well, I think there's going to be more fixtures, there's going to be more teams, there's going to be more competitions. Each country seems to be expanding their 2020 comp, certainly not uh, making it smaller. Uh, we have a World Cup already in 2020, so it's, uh, it's, it's uh, nationally and internationally recognised. Um, where it happens, I think India has been a really important part of that with IPL and with Champions League. So I think it's going to grow in size. Um, and in that, there's obviously going to be remuneration and, and players getting opportunities to, uh, yeah, to, to forge out a pretty good career, not just in the other forms, but still in 2020. I'm looking forward to the opportunities and working with shipping in the bush range over the last three seasons and being involved with two successful ventures to get some good understandings and knowledge of the game. I think it's helped me and I look forward to uh, coaching uh, teams in the future.